Cold winter winds will always present challenges to keeping your home warm and comfortable in these colder months. Certain HVAC problems occur almost exclusively due to cold weather. Sean McGraw is here for American Veteran Air Conditioning to talk about it. Hi, Sean. Happy New Year. 22 is going to be New awesome, Year. right? Oh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, today we are learning about some common HVAC issues that we might face this winter, starting with some rooms are colder than others. What's happening there? A lot of times that just involves inherent duct leakage. And so usually you'll find that uh, you think a small leak in duct work isn't a big deal, but there's re reasons that there's actual guidelines of how well it needs to be sealed. Uh, on average, new, new construction and things of that nature on most houses it's leaking about 30% of the air on the ductwork. So if it's leaking it into, inside the unconditioned space, usually that means by the time it gets to that last run, it just ain't got enough to get anything in there to, to keep that room warm or cool. So a lot of times that's a problem. It's just a small little pinhole leaks and things of like that, but they add up going across the whole duct system. So that becomes a big problem. And another common issue you see is broken thermostats. What is your average homeowner able to do about a broken thermostat? Not break it. But other than that, there's, there's other things that go in there. So you can check the calibration on the stat. Now I tell folks, calibrating a stat, even if it says 72 and you put a thermometer up next to it and it says 70, it's really not a big deal. You keep your thermostat where it's comfortable at. As long as it's controlling the system and modulating it in the way it's supposed to and you're comfortable in your home, it really doesn't matter what it reads on the stat, but they can, you can go into the programming and recalibrate the stat to read it accurately as to what you want. Another problem in winter, a homeowner might find that their furnace doesn't seem to be firing. What do you tell them in that case? Yeah, th there are some basic things that you can look at on that point. Um, first obvious point would be to make sure that your gas is turned on, that you paid your gas bill, because they'll lock those suckers out without telling you. But and we, we actually come across that quite a bit. And if it was shut off, then sometimes it does take a little bit to purge any air that was in the line back out of there. But generally the furnace should fire by itself. Um, I can get into some more stuff on there, but really call somebody out there that really knows what they're doing. You know, I don't want you taking your panels off your system for no reason. Yeah. Well, one thing you would hate to find out too late in the season that your heat pump or furnace is damaged. Um, what tends to happen when there's not regular maintenance taking place? You know, it's a, it's a small things that cause big things. And that's usually the case in that. So a small, relatively inexpensive part, when it fails, well, it's controlling a larger motor or a larger component inside the system. And so that system doesn't know that it's missing it and it continues to try to operate without it. And that's when larger, more detrimental failures to the system happen. So regular maintenance is key to, to find those little things and make sure we take care of them ahead of time. Well, on your website and on your YouTube channel, you go in depth on lots of ways that people can troubleshoot their own systems and fix problems. Uh, for those of us who don't want to worry about any of it and don't want to get hands on, you've got your full battle rattle. Tell us about how that plan works. But when we wrap it all in with a full battle rattle, we're replacing the system. It's brand new, installed properly. We got all that taken care of. We're taking care of all the evap coil cleanings, all the condensate cleanings, twice a year maintenance on the system, blower wheel cleanings. Everything's covered inside that system. Because we're doing all that and we're being that proactive twice a year, we're able to see where things might fail and go ahead and take care of that proactively and make sure it's done ahead of time. And we don't charge you anything for it because it's already included all included in that peace of mind people love. They can contact American Veteran at the number on screen, 435-0822, or visit the website, AmericanVeteranAC.com. Sean McGraw, thank you so much for being here, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. God bless y'all through it. Hey, look, if y'all are looking for more tips, we're always looking for your feedback, and we want to answer your questions, and we will on a regular basis on our YouTube channel. So subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. Not here. Here to our YouTube channel. <laughs> And we'll, we'll try to make sure we take care of all the questions and answer them efficiently for you. Y'all take care. God bless.